Now if you run your fingers down the inside of one of these fillets, you'll notice pin bones right here, what are called Y bones, and they come to this point. From this point back, if you're gonna stake a fish, that's the best area because it's already bone free. The front half, you're gonna take those Y bones out before you prepare it. The next thing that we do is we wanna cut the fatty tissue area out of that brown trout, and the bulk of that fatty tissue area is gonna be in what's referred to as the lateral line. That's where the bulk of your of the fish is, um, basically this is gonna be his fingers and toes. Everything that he feels with are gonna be right here in this lateral line. It's also the fat content area, very fat content rich in the fish, and we're gonna cut that out at an angle. We're going to run that blade at 45 degrees like that. Now we're going to turn it over and we're going to run it at 45 degrees like so. And if you cut that right, you're basically going to be able to zip that out. And that is everything that's going to taste bad. Now if you want to take this one step further, you can trim those fatty tissue areas there. But getting that lateral line out is really going to make the fillet taste right. Now, you're going to turn that fillet back over, you're going to find the end of the Y bones, you're going to cut that piece of fillet right like that, that's going to be perfect for going on the barbecue grill just as it is. If you want to deep fry this particular piece of meat, those Y bones will actually disintegrate. If you don't want to deep fry those, then all you're going to do is lay your blade in. You're going to come right down the inside of those Y bones like so. Then you're going to come right down the outside of this Y bone. And I prefer to cut directly through the fillet. That's what I do. And I take that section that's got the bones in it and I pull it out. Now, if we want great brown trout to deep fry, we've already got the pieces chunked up in the proper size where we can chunk that up, bag that independently, and that's gonna be great in some type of all-purpose batter or a milk and egg wash with a beer batter over the top of it. This in the oil, this on the barbecue grill. Can't beat it when you're preparing brown trout uh, from the spring waters of Lake Ontario. When they're cold like this at this time of the year, they make absolutely the best table fare.